Oh, shit. I hope y'all can read those headlines. Stolen guns would have targeted officers in Baton Rouge, investigators say. Now, this happened five days ago. In what police are calling a plot to kill cops first happened on Saturday. But with at least one of the would-be killers still on the loose, police decided to go public just a couple of hours ago. Now, they knew about that plot last week when the guns were stolen from a pawn shop in Baton Rouge. The same place that six cops were shot today. Now here's another headline about the same thing. Baton Rouge police bus plot to kill cops using guns stolen from a pawn shop in retaliation for Alton Sterling shooting. Did anybody care to read about Alton Sterling's pass? That Hood got nothing but a pass every time he got busted for using a gun, breaking and entering, and every time he got in trouble with the law, he got a pass. He did serve a short sentence one time in, back in uh, Louisiana, but he was a felon with a gun in front of a store. The police were called by the store owner and they did what they had to. Looked to me like he was trying to get his hand in the pocket where he had a pocket pistol. All those facts will come out sooner or later. Another fact, today's shooting on all the news segments on TV are afraid to connect the dots. Oh, it's not a racial thing. We don't know what the reason is the police were shot today. How about they don't know the reason the police were shot last week in Dallas? No, let's not put it together. Well, let's read this. A plot to kill cops using stolen guns in retaliation. That's the plot right there. I just hope and pray this crap stops before it ends in some type of race war. Before long, people are going to be afraid to go outside their homes without being armed. Somebody can give the wrong look, say the wrong thing, somebody will get shot, and it's going to get worse. I just pray it stops here and now before it gets out of hand. But this is crazy. The news ought to say what is what and quit beating around the damn bush. Thank you for watching The Real Batman.